Here we go! Hey guys, this is Chase from Burnout Inc. And as you can kind of tell, my workstation is extremely busy. So, I decided, you know what, got a bonus on this week's paycheck. I'm going to treat myself to a brand, ah, to a brand new Nintendo 3DS. Yay! And picked up probably the best game for the 3DS, Kingdom Hearts. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to get on the Tron world. Yep, I'm one of the few people that like Tron Legacy, and it's going to be awesome. So, I decided to go with the blue one because I thought the red just, I don't know, it looked a little too dull to me. The blue seemed pretty vibrant, and I'm not a big fan of blue, but it looks good. And you know what? If I don't like it, I'll slap a sticker on it, or I'll repaint the thing. But I figured I'd do an unboxing of it. So, let me pause this, put the tripod on, and we will take a look. Alright, so there's the box. 90% larger screen! 90%! Sorry. I actually owned a 3DS before and I didn't really care for it. It looked too much like a baby's toy to me with the, the sparkly design on the top. I, I don't know who they tested that, that thing on, but it's just like, really? Come on, guys. Other than that, you know, I like some of the games on there. Mario Kart was really cool. Um... Star Fox was okay, but you know what? I already own the 64 version of it, and it's exactly the same, just slightly better graphics. Okay, so... Pop that out. You got the manuals. Got your AR cards. Um, I don't know what these are yet. I'll have to pop them open. Nintendo Club. Quick Start Guide. Guide... Guide de 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 marriage rapide. Who knows what that is? And yeah, I'm not saying that. Um, got your big operations manual right here. I really wonder if people actually read through these things. If you do, let me know. Let me know what you think. Son of a bitch! They said it wasn't gonna come with an AC charger. God damn it! I just walked to Hastings and bought one. God, you you motherfuckers! Pardon the language. That oh god damn it, I should have opened this up first. What was I thinking? Ah Really? Really? Well, thank you, Nintendo, for including these. Um I remember them saying, yeah, this is not gonna come with a charger. I even saw the people in the UK do reviews on these things and they're like, yeah, it doesn't come with a charger. You're gonna have to hang on to the one that came with your um with your DSI or your previous 3DS. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Oh, well, at least I can return it, and... Whoa! Look at that. That looks really great. Um, wow. Okay, yeah, I am a fan of blue now. Alright, so here it is, out of the box, and it is awesome. Um, I might have actually done a little quick cut, because I didn't want you guys to see my serial numbers. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, the blue... Looks really, really good. Kind of Tron-esque, and, you know, I know I'm bringing up Tron a lot. Don't know why, but this just reminds me of Tron with the the blue on the black and stuff like that. And it looks really, really good. I like this. I'm definitely glad I chose this one over the red. So, doing a quick look at this thing. Um, it's pretty big. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. Um, and it's not it's not too big to where it's, uh, it's bothersome, like the... Um, you know, I never actually got to play a DSi XL, so I won't mention that. But yeah, here it is. Um, on the front, you got the two cameras. You got the left and right button there. Each one of them has a camera symbol on it, so for taking pictures and whatnot. Uh, you got your charging port. You got your game port right there. Uh, you got your... I think that's for the volume right there. Uh, you got a little loop strap, headphone jack. Another loop strap on this side. Uh, you got your lights right there for if it's on or if it's charging. Sorry if you didn't see that. On this side you got the wireless. Hmm, like a wireless light, but you know if it's working or not. Uh -huh. you got your stylus. And 
And you got your SD card in there. It comes with a 4 gig SD card. I know because I just looked at it. Not only that, it's a multi use SD card, so it also comes with a switchblade and shaving. Shaving kit. I kind of screwed that joke up, but well. So there it is. There it is. This is so much better looking than the previous than the previous model. The buttons look better, just the flat black. Uh, these buttons are better, they're not the little dinky things you saw before. I'm guessing that's the on switch. Okay. And that's for there's your uh, 3D slider right there. I'm also gonna play with it off. You got your speakers there. And that's a big screen. That is cool. I like the size of the touch screen as well. Uh, select, home, start. Oh, there's your power button. So that's for wireless. Disregard that last comment. I uh, got your D-pad. Uh, could have been a little bit bigger, but I like it. Feels pretty good. Kind of responsive. Uh, you got your slider stick or analog stick, whatever they called it. I think it was a slider stick. And then your standard Super Nintendo buttons right there on the side. I say the Super Nintendo buttons because that's what the Super Nintendo had. Yeah, really, really good. I like this a lot. All right. And let me see if I can do this without. There's uh, the back of it. And again, looks really good. Very pleasing to the eyes. All right, guys. So this was Chase from Burnout Inc. And I will probably do an in-depth review of this bad boy in a couple of days. All right. Pay attention for it or don't because, you know, you don't have to watch it, but it'd be nice. Okay, so I'm downloading Netflix now onto my 3DS XL, and th this is probably one of the more unusual loading screens I've ever seen. <laughs> There's just a track of hearts being dropped into the little Netflix thing. And there we go, it's all done. I don't like using words cute and stuff like that, because, you know, I'm a guy, but yeah, that was freaking cute. Alright, so here's a look-see. <laughs> what the fuck?